Dear Katie Krull, I'm not sure if this letter will find you. You move around so much. Last I heard you were coming out of Robin Pecknold's mouth on a YouTube clip. You know, the guy from the Fleet Foxes. That must have felt good. He did you proud. But where you are now is anybody's guess. I don't suppose you still have an address in Scotland. How long is it now since you left there? 300 years? Someone said they saw you in the southern states of America in the 18th century and later on up in New England. But then what? You seem to have been drifting around forever. There have been a lot of rumours that you were a follower of armies, a prostitute, a wronged woman. No records of your birth exist and no one seems to know who your mother and father were, although your DNA seems to match a few other songs. But are those songs your cousins or your parents? What's not in doubt is that wherever you go, you like to play around. Your offspring are everywhere. You had a fun time with Nick Cave, I can tell. His song when I first came to town is undeniably your child as well as his. It's amazing you're still playing the field after all this time. Others would have stopped dead in their tracks long ago. Sure, you gave up your frills and petticoats, your diddly-o days, your diddly adly does, your folder rolls and so on. But you still go hard. You still go all over, unadorned, anywhere and anyone's. And I don't begrudge you that. I'm just glad to know you. Glad you come and visit sometimes. And I'm proud of our children. From the very first time I encountered you on a Karen Dalton record, your cold and fiery beauty took a hold of me and hasn't let me go. I know I'll never get to know you. Nobody does. The more popular you get, the less known you are. I was reading about you the other day. Somebody said you could become the next house of the rising sun. But I guess you couldn't care less. You know about popularity, how it comes and goes. 300 years is going to give you some, some perspective, that's for sure. You sail on, forever shape-shifting, moving through us like a ghost, leaving behind the imprint of your heart your perfect riddling heart, the most perfect four lines ever written. If I was where I would be, then I would be where I am not. Here I am where I must be, where I would be I cannot. It's hard to conceive that someone could actually write those lines down, pick up a pen and scratch them on paper. Although they describe more succinctly than any other words I know what it is to be human, the longing for the loved one, earthly or divine, they seem to come from a place beyond human. They transcend, even as they seek transcendence. See, Katie, you've made me go all philosophical. That wasn't my intention. All, all I meant, all I want to say is, if it ever gets too ugly out there, too cold, too mean, if you're appalled by some of the things done to you by people who say they love you, if you're sick of sleeping rough and just need a place to rest a while, a bed you can put your worn out shoes under, just come by, anytime. My light's always on and the fire never goes out. Yours always, Paul Kelly, St Kilda, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, the Earth, the solar system, the universe. <clears throat> when I first came to town, they called me the Roving Jew. Now they've changed their tune, call me Katie Cool. I'm going through the boggy mile Straight way down the road Till I come to my heart's desire If I was where I would be Then I'd be where I am now Here I am where I must be Where I would be 
Where I would be, I 